So, magandang hapon ulit sa lahat. A little reminder for everyone. Please refrain from entering unnecessary comments in the chat box. Questions will be entertained after the session. Those who make irrelevant comments will be removed from this conference. Hope you understand that, students. Please use your real name in your FB account and use the GHS frame to help your teachers locate your accounts easily. At the same time, dito sa orientation na ito ngayon, kagaya ng in-announce kani-kanina lamang, na kindly rename your account. Example, your section, grade 10, Pluto, then followed by your complete name. Nang sa gayon, mas madaling ma locate or makita ng inyong mga class advisors yung mga pangalan ninyo nang madali rin para sa kanila na mai-add kayo sa inyong mga group chat. Where to find your student ID? Your student ID will uh, pwedeng makita natin sa ating SOS account, sa inyong registration form or RF, at sa inyong identification ID. Okay? So, sa inyong genuine account, Yung inyong uh, account name ay gagamitin nyo na ngayon ang inyong student ID or school ID. Hindi na magbibigay ng another na number or numero yung genyo, kundi yung inyong student ID na lamang ang gagamitin na account name. At the same time, yung password ninyo doon is still wisdom pa rin. Okay? Yung school ID ninyo, CPU lamang ang ilalagay. Students who were enrolled early can now access their Genu account. If you can't access your account, there is a great possibility that your account is not yet available as of the moment. It takes two to three weeks to be created. Your advisor will be update will update you if your account is already available. So hindi nyo kailangang magworry kung hindi nyo pa mabubuksan yung inyong genuine account. Marahil ay on the process pa yung inyong mga genuine account. So i-update lamang ng genuine yung mga class advisors ninyo kung ready na bang mabuksan ang account ninyo upang gamitin, okay? So maghintay-hintay lamang sa mga hindi pa nakapagbukas ng kanilang genuine account. Sa mga nagawa na, pwede nyo nang mabuksan ang inyong genuine account. So this afternoon, everyone, I am here to present to you or ipapakilala ko sa inyo ang ating speaker for today. Okay? Siya yung mag, uh, magtuturo sa atin or sa inyo kung papaano gagamitin ang inyong genuine at the same time, ito ay isang refresh na lamang sa inyo kasi grade 10 na kayo. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Elementary Education, major in Special Education as Cum Laude at Philomer Christian University, Rojas City, Capiz. Passed the licensure examination for teachers last March 2013. Currently works as a learning integration specialist under the e-learning training of DIWA. For the past nine years, she acted as an in-house consultant in integrating ICT and LMS in the curriculum of the school where, he design, where she designed and delivered training programs in partner schools nationwide. Ensured teachers' compliance to the use of learning management system, established evaluation tools to determine the effectiveness of training programs delivered, troubleshoot technical concerns and secure safe and responsible use of e-learning, an advocate of technology integration in the classroom and continuous learning. May I present to you everyone, Ms. Christine Joy V. Perion, a licensure professional teacher. Mom Teen. Hey, ma'am. Thank you very much, Ma'am Mabel, for introducing me to our students. Okay, so once again, um, good afternoon, students. Okay, so uh, my name is Christine Joy Perion. So you can call me Ma'am Tin, okay, for short. So I will be your genuine consultant for this uh, school year. 
Okay? So this orientation is intended for you to know how you will going to use Genio as your e-learning platform here in your school. Okay, so now I will going to share to everyone um, how uh, you will going to uh, use Genio during your uh, online and uh, of course um, other activities that your teacher will going to um, share to you, okay, or assign to you. So we have witnessed uh, numerous transformations as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic's effect. Okay? Um, one of which was the sudden shift from face to face. Okay, so that was before. And then going to online. Okay, so schools have decided, or especially your school, to implement new teaching modalities and platform to ensure that uh, you students um, will learn uh, better and of course your learning will not be disrupted, okay? Now, uh, the question here is, how do we enrich your learning experience from home for this school year? Okay, so our answer to that is through genuine e-learning with its best features, responsive support system, and dynamic implementation program. Furthermore, Genio is fully integrated learning management system for basic education in the Philippines and the most trusted e-learning platform in the country. Now, let's get to know Genio better. Okay, so again, I would like to uh, remind everyone that our website is www.genio.com.ph. Okay, so you can take note of this. And then once you are here in the home page, uh, all you have to do is to input your school ID, which is CPU, still the same. Okay, again, CPU, and then you have to click next. And then uh, once you click next, you will be asked to input your login ID, which is your student ID number, which uh, Mom Mabel um, explained earlier, okay? And then for the password, it's wisdom, okay? Again, by default, it's wisdom. For the login ID, it's your student ID number. Are we clear on that? Okay, can you um, give me a thumbs up if uh, it's clear? Okay, so last year kasi we have given you a different uh, figures for your login ID. Uh, for this year, you will be using your student ID number. Okay, so that it will be easier for you to, um, to, to locate, okay, available na siya on your ID. Okay, either on ID or upon um, enrollment, uh, the school already gave you your student ID number. So you may now uh, try to log in, okay, because it's already activated. Okay, and then uh, upon logging in, you will be asked to uh, change your password. Okay, so um, I encourage everyone to please uh, change your password. Okay. And then also, please inform your um, please inform your parents that uh, you need to uh, change your password. And then this is your new password. Okay, uh, that is for security purposes. Okay. And then let's go now to what can you do inside the Genio portal. Okay. Since Genio is designed to help you learn at your own pace, we have several tutorials inside the Genio portal that will help you to learn in advance or to review your lessons. Okay, so I know you are familiar with the different contents that we have under the five major subjects, the science, English, math, Filipino, and Aralin Panlipunan. Okay, I will just give you a run through uh, of the contents, okay? So this is a sample of an interactive and animated content. And then this is an example of our activity, okay? So this encourages um, independent learning, okay? Since you are um, doing this at your own pace. 
And then we also have virtual experiments, ayan, especially sa science subject nyo. And then we have here uh, game-based activities, which your uh, teachers designed uh, for um, each one of you. Okay. We also have add-on contents. Okay. So for Filipino, we have uh, the Piling Akda. Okay. So we have um, uploaded our digital format of Ibong Adarna, Florante at Laura. No Limitang Here and El Filibusterismo. Okay. And then, of course, we also have uh, for our English, ayan, we have classic for young readers. Okay. So we have a digital copy of our literary classics uh, inside the Genio portal. And then we have here VR contents or virtual reality. So we have the virtual tours. Um, it's a collection of virtual tours, both local and overseas. Okay, some of your teachers um, is using this one okay, uh, before they begin their class or during the discussion. Okay, so you can have a virtual uh, trips uh, over these uh, different tourist spots. Okay. And then uh, we have pala updates on our uh, contents. Okay, so under the five major subjects, uh, we already updated uh, our contents. Okay, so what's new with this um, contents? Our contents are more engaging through additional voiceover narration in most of our additional tutorials and activities. Inclusions of performance-based tasks and assessments to adopt to online distance learning. And of course, we have improved our visual elements, especially on the tutorials and uh, the different activities. And then aside from the uh, contents that we have, we also have here um, different tasks that your teacher will going to assign to you. It could either be a lesson, a quiz, or assignment, or other performance-based activities or assessment. Okay. And then, by the way, um, in case uh, some of you already logged into their genuine accounts, okay, you notice that our uh, task panel have changed. Okay, so before uh, this one is not uh, visible. Okay, so all you, you you are going to, um, if you could recall, you, you are going to uh, click the drop down arrow before you you can see the current task. Uh, the completed task, expired task, upcoming, and favorites. But now it, it is more visible. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, interface of uh, the Genio portal when you are using your desktop and laptop. And then if you are using your tablet or mobile devices, this is the man the interface that uh, you will see. Okay, and then when you uh when you are going to check your task, by the way, um, all you have to do is to click on the task panel. Okay, there. Okay, um, for example, under current task, okay, uh, you will uh see all of your ongoing tasks, or if you want to see all of your assignments, tests, lessons. Uh, that your teacher assigned to you today or is um, available in your genuine account, you may click the current task. Okay. And then you notice that uh, there is a My Task um, feature located in the um, upper right portion. You may click this one. Okay. When you, uh, once you click this one, automatically all of the lessons, tests, um, other task that your uh, teachers assigned to you is um, available, okay? And then, for example, you want to uh, check if your assignment, if your um, lesson or test uh, was submitted to your teacher, you may check it under completed task. Okay, if ever it is an exam, okay, 
uh, you can check your test result here also. All you have to do is to check uh, is to click this one completed test and then click on the quiz and then you can see here the, the summary result. Okay. Okay. So now let's go to um what are the requirements to access Genu at home? Okay. So here are the different device that you will be using in order to access Genu. Okay. So we have uh, the laptop desktop, smartphones, and then your tablets. Okay. For the browser, if you are using your desktop or laptop, uh, you may use uh, this browser. Okay. And then if you are using your mobile device, or uh, your tablet, okay, you may uh, use this one for Android and then uh, you may use this one for iOS device. Okay, so questions so far before we proceed? Okay, none. Okay, now um, let us go to the seven tips for a successful online learning. Okay, so it goes uh, without saying that the COVID-19 pandemic has forced all of us to make significant changes in our daily lives. Okay, so distance learning has become a uh, necessity in the K-12 schools, while online learning has uh, many advantages that make it uh, the preferred options on for uh, millions of students. It is not without uh, its challenges, particularly for the students who are more accustomed in person classes. The following okay, are seven tips for successfully adjusting your study habits during online learning. Okay, so the first one here is um, plan ahead of time to understand your assignments due dates. Okay, so it is important that you first. Um, Examine your upcoming assignments and make a mental note of your due date so that you can create a more realistic plan for completing all of your work. Okay. The second one is to make a schedule. Okay. For, for you to allow that uh, all of your responsibilities during your um, team works or group works will be addressed. Okay. So you set a time to study and work in groups. Okay, so the next one here is communicate regularly for group projects. If ever your teacher um, assigned a group project, it is important that you communicate with your team or you prioritize communication, of course, to avoid uh, confusion, whether, for example, through here, Zoom, email, uh, what else, phone call, instant message, share documents or other form of communication entirely. And then the next one is divide up group work early. Okay, so along those lines, it is critical for the group to divide different tasks appropriately. So hindi lang nga si leader ang maubrasang task, all in all. So of course, you designate task also so that everyone is accountable for their fair share and everyone understands exactly what they're responsible of competing, okay? And then for the next one is keep in touch with Brana. your teacher on a regular basis, okay? So it is critical that you communicate with your teacher in the same way that you communicate with your group mates or classmates, okay? So make an effort to communicate to your teacher um, if ever you have questions or concerns about especially uh, using uh, the genuine account or your assignment or your lesson, please, okay? Or simply uh, want what you want uh, them to know okay, about your uh, problem or problem during your online classes, okay? And then, of course, number six, participate as much as you can, okay? Participation is very essential for success whether you are taking courses um, here 
online or in person, active participation not only shows your profession, professor or teachers that you're interested, okay, but it is also um, a sign that you are learning and willing to put the effort required to succeed. And then the last one is be adaptable. Okay, so we, uh, we must be flexible. Um, uh, we need to uh, adjust to our um, classes, to our lessons, or since um, it is now our school opening, okay? So I know uh, some of you are very excited, okay? Um, so uh, we actually flexibility is required uh, especially when you are having your online classes, both for yourself and both for your um, class or classmates, including your teachers. This uh, was not actually planned. It is possible to recreate the community that you had on campus and make this transition as smooth as possible by simply demonstrating empathy, being active in your class and uh, talking to your classmates or to your teachers. Okay, so uh, while online learning may not have been um, actually your first choice, uh, we really understand that. But uh, following uh, these uh, advices, okay, this um, may actually help you uh, to make most out of your class. So above all, keeping clear and open lines of communication with your teachers and classmates, as well as remaining engaged in the class will go a long way toward ensuring success during this difficult time. Okay, so, so far, do you have questions and concerns? Okay, none. So, uh, shall we now proceed to our hands-on experience or activity? Ayan. So for our hands-on activity, I will going to show to you, um, again, the overview of our Genio portal, how you can change your password, how can you update your profile, how you can locate your ready-made tutorials, okay? And then I will give you um update on the task panel, how you will able to nav navigate well using the task panel. And then uh, I will give you also um, instructions on how you can access the lesson, test, or quiz, or shared blog, forum, assignment, and then of course the messages and, uh, and announcement. Okay, so these are the things that your teacher might um, assign to you uh, during your classes. Um, online classes or asynchronous classes, okay? So let's uh, proceed to the Genio portal, okay? So if ever you are using your uh, laptop or phones, you may um, log in also to Genio, okay? So I'll just log into Genio. Sige, students, uh, you may uh, try to log in also. Okay, so I will uh, try to log in a, sam a sample a student account for you to know how you are going to um, answer, access uh, those uh, things that I have mentioned, how you can um, submit your task to your teacher. And most importantly, how you can update your profile. Okay. So I will going to share my screen. Can you see my screen, students? Okay. So can you see my screen? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen? 
Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to change our password. If ever uh, you have uh, changed your password or in the future you want to change your password, you go here. Okay, so click this one and then click password. And then we have here a password policy, by the way. Okay, so I would like to remind again about this uh, password policy. Okay, so the password must contain eight to 100 characters. And then the password will, uh, we'll need to change our password um, every 180 days. But anyway, the portal will prompt naman uh, that uh, you need to change your password. And then when you uh, input your password, your new password, by the way, here, uh, it should not contain special characters. Kaya hindi siya pagbatunon sa portal. And also, it uh, should not also contain your user ID and uh, your name. Okay? And then once done, once you input your current and then your new password, confirm your new password, just click save. Okay? And then it will uh, prompt or my status uh, here that will appear that you already changed your password. Okay, so are we clear on that? Let's now go to my profile. Okay, so under my profile, you can see here your name. You can change your gender if ever you are a female. You just uh, choose this one because uh, by default, uh, naka female or naka male in Asha. Okay, and then. If, if ever you are a female, just click female or choose female. And then you need to input here your email ad and then your, and then I just con confirm your email ad and then your address and then your phone or mobile phone and then your birthday and click save. Okay. Once done, you may go to home. So are we clear on how we are going to update our profile? Change password. Okay. So let us now proceed to our uh, task panel. Okay. So this is our task panel. Okay. So if you want to know what are the ongoing tasks or what are the things that your teachers um, assigned to you. Okay. So you click on the current. Once you click the current task, Okay, and then you go here, my task. Okay, so as you can see, you have um, 12 current tasks. So all you have to do is to click the plus button and then you will see all of the things or all of the lessons, quiz, assignment, and other assessment-based or performance-based activities that your teachers assign to you. And then uh, you notice that there is a number here Okay, for example, for the lesson, you have a uh, one lesson assigned, uh, one assignment or assignment, uh, one a uh, three podcast, three two quizzes, um, one forum, and then four shared blog. Okay, so at least naka categorize na siya. It would be easier for you to um check it. And then for the completed task, all you have to do is to click completed. Okay, then automatic on the my task, uh, it shows uh, also zero since I do not have a completed task yet. And then for the expired task, when you click this one, okay, um, and then you go here, my task, and then click the plus button. There, you can see also all of the things or all of the tasks that already expired. Okay, so these are the tasks that you missed to open or you missed the deadline. Okay, so please take note that our expiry date is located here. Okay, you can take note of your due dates. Okay. And then for the upcoming task, since uh, zero naman siya, okay, it will appear here, zero also. Okay. Um, these are the tasks that your teacher assigned to you but not yet available. Okay, so meaning to say um, it will be available on a particular date and time. That's why uh, it's still here, it's upcoming. And then for the favorites, 
these are the tasks that you set to favorites. Okay. And then let's go back here to so current, current task. We are going to open a sample lesson. Okay, for example. By the way, before we open a uh, sample lesson, um, I would like you to open our announcement here. Okay, so if you are uh, inside the Genio portal, you may check the announcement of your teachers. Okay, um, announcement. Uh, my announcement. Okay, so I have uh, sent there plenty of announcement. Okay, you can check it out by clicking on uh, this one. Okay, the hyperlink. Okay, when you click on the title, it will open a new tab and then you can see here all of my announcement. Okay, you can check it out later. Or you may check your announcement here. Okay, actually, you have two options, either here or here. And then for the messages, it is located here. Okay, you can see or you can open uh, the messages uh, assigned by your teacher. Okay, so only your teacher can send you a me message. And then if uh, you want to reply to your teacher, you can uh, do so. Okay, so going back to our home. Okay, so let's open a sample lesson. Okay, I will going to up, open a lesson. Okay, now, uh, once you are here, all you have to do is to click start lesson. Okay, then open, open the videos. Our okay. planet has a violent soul. Majestic. After that video, you go to the next resource. Your next task. Okay, this is actually a sample tutorial. Okay. And then after the tutorial, you have an exercise. There. Just an analog, read the instruction of uh, the activity. Okay. That this one. Okay, and then the next. Okay, video. And then the next quiz. Okay, so anyway, later we're going to uh, open a sample quiz. Okay, separate from the last one. Okay, so this is a sample quiz. Uh, tag to your lesson. And then another activity that your teacher have shared. Okay, and then next. Okay, by the way, student, um, if ever uh, you want to uh, access um, a file that your teacher sent to you, um, no need naman nga i-download nyo pa. Okay, so automatically, if you don't want to download the file, it can be previewed here in your lesson package. Okay, in the lesson that your teacher assigned. If you are using your phone, I know it's difficult to open a file, but with this feature that uh, your teacher is using, okay, automatically it has a preview naman. Okay, so it will be easier for you. Okay? And then um, the next one is assignment. Okay, so later I will going to show you a sample um assignment and then we are try we're, we'll try to answer a an assignment attach files and um submit it to our teacher and then please make sure that under this summary okay make sure that your status is complete okay for this one uh, not attempted since uh i didn't answer the question uh, the, the quiz yet so uh, not attempted pa siya. And then for the assignments, so wala pa kung may submit niya any assignment or homework. That's why uh, the status is not attempted. Okay? So uh, you can check your status anyway right after every lesson. Okay? Uh, the same thing man ang ma-appear sa teacher niyo when they check their report on the status of your lesson. And activities. So that's it for our lesson. 
Okay, so let's try to open a sample quiz. So again, under my task, we'll open a sample quiz. Okay, so quiz. Okay. So we will try to answer a quiz. If ever your teacher um, put here a password, when you input your password, make sure to click next. Not, uh, click the enter button of your uh, lap laptop or desktop. Okay. Since this one, wala man siya password, so we can enter the quiz. Okay. So please take no note also of the time duration. Okay. One minute lang siya. Okay. So let's see. We're going to answer. Okay. And okay. make sure to click the save button before you proceed to the next. Okay, kung hindi nyo ni siya ma-click, it will not be saved. You will um, return to number, to the first item, okay? And then, which of the following? Okay, for example, this one, this one, this one. And then click save. And then moving forward, for example, that one, save. And then next. In next, oh wait, back, save, and then, okay, so it's time's up, okay? So, bus na akong time duration. What will happen since I'm not finished yet? Okay, so automatically, um, my quiz have been submitted. Okay, so here it is. Under completed task, you can see your quiz and let's check the status. Okay, click view report. Okay, so there you go. So those are the items lang that I have answered. Okay, so I haven't finished my um, quiz. Automatically, uh, submit na siya kay teacher since uh, ubus na akong time. Okay. So that's it for our quiz. And then may I remind everyone that um, time duration and then the viewing period is uh, different. Okay, So you may hear that your teacher is saying that I will give you, uh, uh, for example, 10 minutes to view my quiz. And then uh, I will give you 40 minutes to answer it. Okay, so it's uh, different. For example, your class... Um, so science subject is from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And then your teacher told you uh, that she have assigned a quiz. Okay, so the viewing period of my quiz is 8 o'clock to 8.10. So make sure that you view immediately uh, the quiz that your teacher assigned to you. After that viewing period, automatically the quiz will expire and you cannot no, uh, you can no longer access or answer the quiz. Since, uh, for example, nakaabot ka, within uh, 10 minutes, you have viewed your, uh, your assign, uh, quiz. Okay. So once you view your quiz, uh, your teacher will give will give you, for example, 40 minutes to answer it. Okay, so that's your time duration. Okay, so are we clear on the time duration and the viewing period that your teacher um, set? Question, students, before we proceed. Okay, so I hope we are clear on that. Okay, so none. Okay, so um, it's just like uh, you are in a physical classroom, my dear students, okay? So once you uh, enter your classroom, for example, you have a major exam because you, you enter the classroom, the bus, uh, teachers um, usually give you time pa, uh, for those uh, latecomers to enter, okay? To attend to your le lesson or test, for example, Okay, for those nga hindi makaabot, uh, they sent you out or sagwa lang kamo. Okay, and then uh, if ever your teacher assigned to you a quiz, okay, 
your teacher will inform you that you are given this um, duration to answer your quiz. Okay, parang the same din siya when you are um, getting and entering to your to to the class of your teacher online. Okay? So we have a time to view our lesson, our test, our activities inside the portal. Okay? But uh, we also have time set by our teacher um, how long are we going to answer or submit our activities. Okay? So I hope we are clear on that. So now let us proceed to the next. Okay? So we are now done with our quiz. Let's go to... Um, assignment. Okay. We are going to answer a sample assignment. By the way, uh, student, if, the, uh, if you want to show or if you want to know the criteria, how your teacher is going to um, rate you on your output, you can check it here. May mga teachers kita that they will assign you a uh, rubric just like this one that your output will be rated according to this. Okay, you can check it here. Okay, and then if wala man, so you can proceed with your assignment. Okay, click assignment. And then make sure students to read the instructions of your teachers carefully. Okay, there are teachers that uh, may ask you to input your answer here in the text box. Okay, so all you have to do is to write your opinion, essay, uh, whatever whatever it is you're going to ask me teacher. Or you can put here uh, pictures. If your teacher asks you to put it in the text box, uh, you have to put it in the text box. But if your teacher would like you to attach, okay, so it's different to paste a picture than to attach it here. Okay, so we need to attach uh, the file or the picture. Like, for example, your uh, teacher um, allowed you to upload only one file. Okay, so you need to check also kung how many files lang ang allowed sa, uh, to you to upload here, for you to upload here. So uh, just click the file, for example, and then we will attach a sample file. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, and then click upload. Okay. Make sure to students that, okay, like for example, this one. Okay, uh, wala siya na-attach or wala kang may nakita, dari nga may na-attach na file. You need to um, upload it again. Okay, so again, click select and then make sure that you upload it or check if it's uploaded or just like this one. Once uh, you haven't seen your file here, meaning to say, wala siya upload Okay, so you need to repeat it again. Okay, and then once okay na ka mo, you have um, uploaded or uh, for example, paste here a sample picture. Okay, this one. Okay, for example, this one. Okay. Once you are done, you need to click Submit Assignment. Okay. So make sure that uh, there is a status here that says your ass assignment has been successfully um, submitted. Okay. By the way, um, you can edit your assignment within the given period of time. Okay, for example, uh, you are allowed to answer or submit your assignment today from 8 o'clock to 12 noon. Okay, so meaning to say, at that span of time, you can still edit your assignment. So you can change the pictures, you can delete the uploads, and then upload another one. But after 12, like for example, um, uh, it's past 1 na. And then you go back here to your to your assignment. Um, it, it's it's gone or makita nyo na siya sa completed task. Okay, meaning to say you can no longer um, edit or change the things that you submitted to your teacher. 
mean to say, nag-expire na siya or uh, the time has uh, already ended. Okay? Mean to say, si teacher, uh, mano na siya, ma-rate na siya sa inyong output or that's the time uh, the teacher is now checking your output. Okay? So, uh, are we clear on that? Okay, before we proceed. So, another thing, aside from the assignment, we have here a sample shared blog, for example. This is a shared blog. Okay, so this is how you answer uh, the shared blog assigned to, by your teacher. All you have to do is to add articles. Okay, by the way, um, as you can see, you can see also here uh, the articles uh, uploaded by your classmates. Okay, so there is one here. And then if you want to add an article, you click add article. All you have to do is to input the title and then you write your post. You can also attach pictures, files, drawings, sketch, audio video. Okay, you can also um, paste here a sample picture. Okay. And then for example, you are going to attach a file, select file, okay, we will upload a sample file. Okay, so if you click this one, you can see all of the things that you have attached. Okay. And then below, um, you are you are allowed to uh, have comments or make comments to your classmates. But if you don't want uh, to allow your student, your classmate to um, comment on your post, so you can choose no. And then you have option also here, if you don't want to see, or if you don't want your classmate to see the published status, you can click also the no. Okay, but... Um, as um mas okay man uh, you allow your classmates okay so you can have an interaction with uh, during uh, this activity okay so click update article okay okay since your um article is not yet published here meaning to say we will need to seek for the approval of your teacher before you can see it here once your teacher approve it uh, just like this one, you can uh, see uh, the article posted here. Okay, so that's uh, it lang on how you are going to answer uh, a sample shared blog. Okay, so another thing aside from the shared blog, we have here a sample forum. Okay, this is how you will going to answer a forum naman. Just click on the title. Okay, so as you can see, um, someone has already posted his or her uh, um, comment, opinion, okay, on the posted topic by the teacher. Okay, all you have to do is to click um, reply with a quote or without. Okay, for reply with a quote, of course, um, you quote what your teacher have posted and then you input your opinion. And then you can also put here or use of emoticons or attach a picture or you can attach a file or a document. And then once done, just click post. Then automatically we'll see here your post. Okay, so this is a sample forum. Uh, maybe you will encounter the shared blog forum this school year since your teacher are going to assign uh, some of their um, activities or tasks using those features that I have mentioned. Okay, so at least you are aware how you can answer it. Okay, so um, do you have more questions, students, on how you are going to access uh, the different um, the different features or the different task. Okay, none. Okay, by the way, if ever your teacher uh, will um, assign a podcast, okay, discuss ko na lang man since we have still a few minutes. 
Okay, for example, for the podcast, uh, these are the audios and videos that uh, your teacher is asking. Okay, if you want to upload here a podcast and a video, especially videos. Okay, for example, this one okay, for grade 10 Saturn. Okay, so since uh, these are merely pure videos and uh, audios, Pag more than 100 MB students, you need to compress the file. Okay, so there are a lot of video compressor available in the web. Okay, so pag like exit kita 100 MB, use uh, the applications, um, the, uh, many applications also in the Play Store that uh, will compress your video so that mag siya siya or maka upload ka mo here in Genio. Okay, so if. Um, if ever that um hindi masyadong yapon magkasha siguro bawasan ta lang ang number of time number of time that uh, we are going to upload our uh, video okay so again let's go back ay na lang kita sa may entry okay so this is a sample entry since it will take time naman mag-upload ako okay so we'll just uh, show you a sample okay if you want, by the way, to add an uh, an entry, okay, just click this one, add entry. And then write the title and then the description. And here you are going to upload the audio video. Okay, for example, let me check if wala ako that Again. I will try. Okay. okay. All you have to do is to add the video here and then file and then choose. I'll try to, uh, to upload this one, but maybe it will take time. Okay. So, anyway, since uh, it will take time, so okay. Okay. So, you will see here your attachment. Make sure that it appears here. And then click save. Okay. And then once you go back to your to this to view, you will see your uh, video posted. Okay. There. You can also put um, ratings. You can comment. Okay. Okay. So that's it for podcast. Okay, so some more questions. Okay, none. So are you sure? If it's none, I'll just go back with my PowerPoint presentation. Maybe in the future, siguro, you still have questions. Anyway, we have uh, video tutorials available under link. Okay. You can check it out if ever uh, nalipat mo on the process how you are going to submit your task to your teacher. Okay, so you can um, check this one under links. Okay, you can see there plenty of video video tutorials. Okay, uh, those are the step-by-step -step procedure how you are going to navigate, how you are going to submit your task. But if you need uh, more of my assistance, you can email me at cvperion at firstasia.edu.ph or you can contact your advisor. Okay, for more information, you can log on to www.genio.com.ph or you can like us on Facebook, Genio eLearning. So for this school year, um, let's get better together. And I would like to turn over the virtual floor to Mom uh, Mabel. So that ends my presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Ms. Dean. Yes, Ma'am Barcelona, you, ma do you have a question, Ma'am? Hello, good afternoon. Ma yes, Asking Ma'am, ma ma you've made mention a while ago that there were students nga, uh, or basic by time, hindi sila maka-access or hindi pa ready ang ilang uh, account. Or they also load. Yes, ma'am. Kung hindi, kung hindi makasulod, meaning to say, hindi pa accessible account nila. Mm -mm. Yes, ma'am. Hindi pa activated. Okay. Uh, hindi pa di maka 
uh, give list sang wala pa kag ang may ara na? Uh, Ma'am, actually, uh, I already sent it Saturn GC for those activated um, training accounts. Ah, okay. And then for those, ma'am, nga wala pa, ah, for those students who enrolled later 13, nga date August 13, uh, maybe those are the students who cannot access the training account nila. Ah, sige, sige, ma'am. Thank you, Gid. Okay, sige, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, Grace. Other questions pa po ba? Meron pa ba? If none, can I see a thumbs up kung okay ng lahat? Okay. Maraming salamat everyone sa inyong uh, pagdalo sa orientation na ito. Thank you rin po sa mga teachers, class advisors ng grade 10 na walang pagod na nagsubaybay okay, sa araw na ito na orientation ng grade 10. Hopefully, magiging masaya ang ating school year ngayon. Reminders lang, wag munang mag-leave everyone dahil mayroon pa tayong picture taking. Attendance ito ng mga students sa kanila ng mga advisor. Ma'am Tin. Ah, sige, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am Mabel. Students, I encourage everyone to please open their cameras. Okay, so we have 13 pages. Okay, so we don't know where we are. <laughs> Some 13 pages nga ina. So, please remain smiling. Okay, for siguro 1 to 150. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the first page, okay, smile. Second page, smile, wait lang. Okay, next page, third, smile. Okay, next page. Okay, we are now on the fifth page. Kanting tiyas na lang. Okay, six. Okay, seven. Okay, eight. Okay, nine. Okay, ten. Okay, eleven. Twelve. Okay, last one. Okay. Thank you very much, students, teachers. Um, Tin, mayroon pong tanong pa po. May isang student po na nagtanong sa ating chat box. Pwede daw po ba makapag-live sa Genio? Makapag-live? Makapag-live. Live po, ma'am. Live? Yes po. Uh, in live like... Uh... Like live nga pareha si ni sa Zoom? Yes po. Parang ganun yung tanong niya. Uh, we can have it, but the, uh, the teacher will have to share to you uh, the meeting ID or the link. The link. Okay, okay. oo. So, okay. your Please. teacher lang ang pwede mag-share. Uh, so, si Jim Joshua, may tanong pa ba? Jim Joshua. Uh, yes, um, I was just asking, since we are um, people with disabled general accounts, I was just wondering if, when can we access them? Um, when can I enroll or kung later date na siya, you have uh, two to three weeks to wait for your genuine account to be created. Okay, but for those na nag-enroll, um August 13 or before August 13 na activated na sila. Okay. okay so may okay na ba? Na. Okay na po. Thank you. Okay. So pahabol lamang po, may uh, merong ibang hindi nakapasok sa ating orientation ngayon, especially dahil hindi daw ito na post kanina sa ating uh, isang F uh, isang account isang page sa ng junior high school. So, marami yung, hindi naman karamihan na, pero may ilan na hindi nakapasok. So, don't worry, lalo na rin sa mga na late na pumasok, don't worry din po, kasi ipost pa rin namin yung recorded na orientation from grade 7 up to grade 10 
sa ating FB page ng Sagayon. Kung hindi man ninyo gaanong nahabol yung orientation the whole time, ma pwede nyo siyang ma mapanood ulit sa ating FB page para mas lalo ninyong maintindihan ang paggamit ninyo ng inyong Genio account. So kung wala ng mga katanungan, maraming salamat sa pagdalo ninyo sa araw na ito. Have a nice day everyone. God bless you and take care. Bye! Bye, Ma. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye, Ma. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, students. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Thank you, students. Bye, Ma. 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 Bye, Ma.